In this video, I'll tell you a few more additional GitHub command that you need to work with Git. So hey guys, Nitish here back with an internet video and if you are watching this video, this is the second part of the video in which I am telling few more commands of GitHub and if you haven't checked the first part, I'll post the link in the description box. So I highly recommend you watch that video first then come back to this video then it will make more sense and in this video I'll tell you two more extra github command which is very very important in my opinion so let's assume that you are working on your repository this is the repository which I created in the previous tutorial and now I'm let's assume that I am working so basically I'm I'm using this code editor called Visual Studio Code. This is amazingly awesome code editor. It comes pre-integrated with GitHub. I'll tell you how to use that in a later video of this tutorial. So I'm gonna basically open my project folder. No tutorial. This is my Git repository. So I'm gonna open this. As you can see only one file I have created over here which is uh, readme.md file so I'm gonna create a new file over here by hitting on this new file I'm gonna call this index.html just for a demonstration purpose I am doing this so I'm gonna create a new heading So I have made this changes and if I go to git bash and if you are using windows then you should use git bash if you are using mac or linux you can simply work on the terminal and if I go over here you might have learned these command in the from the previous class so I'm gonna do git status to see what are the changes that I have made and it's showing that a new file is created and it's not been added to git index so I'm gonna add this file to git index by typing git add hyphen capital A it is added if I do git status by the way you can always press up key up arrow key in order to see what are the previous command that you have typed so I'm pressing up key twice and hit enter it's showing me that a new file is created um, now I'm gonna just push it to my git repository but before that I have to commit it so I'm gonna do git commit hyphen m I'm gonna type my message over here that added index file hit on enter it is added now I'm gonna do git push hit on enter it will ask me my username and my password of course and if you're watching this second time then you know already so I'm gonna type my username enter my password and it is added to git repository see there's only one file over here but if I refresh over here it will show me my index file and yeah you can see this file has been created and you can see my misspelled commit message <laughs> over here so sorry for that so let's move on to the next part and let's assume that you have made a change this is a very simple file structure but if you have tons of file to work with so there are possibility that you screwed up a file and you want to start from the last commit that you have made so let's assume that I'm I wrote some gibberish code and yeah, yeah this is this looks like I mean I have gone mad or something but let's assume that these are the code you have accidentally written and you don't want to push it to github then and there's so many files you don't know you you can't keep track of the files that how many files that you have changed and what all the changes that you have made it is extremely hard to figure out 
so don't worry there's one trick there's one solution that I'm gonna show you here is git stash so these are the command which I taught you in my previous lesson and these are the command that I'm gonna teach you in this lesson so let's assume that you have created this mess okay let's get into here and type git status and see then is showing that this file has been modified and I want to go back to the point where I have last committed like here it's like only this line was there and this gibberish file was not there so the way you do that is git stash so basically you are putting all the changes into some kind of a temporary repository or temporary file which git creates in internally I don't know how it works so all you have to do is git stash then every change that you made in this commit see it's already gone <laughs> now you are back to the point where you have committed last and which is actual uh, commit point that you have you want to work again so all the changes has been gone and now you can type anything let's assume create a new paragraph save it and if I do git status now it will show me that I have made changes in this file see now changes and then you realize oh my god the changes I made in my previous commit which is now gone like all the gibberish type which I have written over here, it's gone that was actually useful so what are you gonna do now so don't worry there's always an option when you are working with git so the command to get back the changes that you have stashed is by typing git stash notice here very carefully so all the changes that you have is stash which is temporarily stored in a different file I don't know how git works over here so it's gonna bring back and push it to this index file so I'm gonna show you the magic right now ready for this yeah let's go if you type this command git stash pop so all the previous changes that you have made and which is not committed will come up hit on enter oh <laughs> my bad first you have to uh, commit your changes so whatever you do you have to just simply add it so I'm gonna git add hyphen a I'm gonna quickly commit it my I'm gonna type my message as added new para now now I'm gonna type git stash pop by going up arrow up arrow up arrow git stash pop I'm gonna hit on enter see now here is the good thing that you must learn if you're working with git see hmm. so git is showing me what was the command what are the what are the code which was stashed earlier and what are the changes that you have made over here so this is the code which I wrote now and these are the stash changes so if you wanna keep this change the previous one then you, you can remove this thing and yeah you are good to go but control Z control Z if you think that uh, the both of the code should be there so you can create you can remove this thing upstream you can remove this is the basically the way of showing what are the changes you have made so it shows like this arrow 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 and yeah stash changes so I'm gonna keep basically both the codes over here now I want to push it so again I have to go through all the process first command is 
git status is showing that this file is modified I'm gonna do git add hyphen a then I'm gonna do git commit hyphen m for message added new changes now I'm gonna push it again by git push provide my provide my username and my password okay so this crappy command this crappy code has been added to push and it is there in github if I refresh this you will see a new message over here added new changes see so yeah you have learned two command git stash and and a new command call git stash pop so these two commands are very important if you are working with git and yeah that's it for this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one till then keep bugging